everyone, when they're growing up, they want to look up to someone who they can relate to, someone that even looks like them. I didn't really have that growing up. There's not a lot of Asian Americans in sports. Football, there's none. My mom, she was born in Shanghai, and my dad was born in Toronto. They actually met in China, and my mom was actually his translator. We were always joking around. She was always the bubbly one, you know. And she worked for me for about a half a day and then told me she was quitting. And I told her she can't quit. You know, this is a communist country. You can't just do whatever you want. She said, oh, yeah, I can. It's very different culturally. You can't really date any foreigners. Perception-wise, it's not a really popular thing. Even when I asked her out, we couldn't tell anybody. It wasn't really as open as you know it is now. We actually got married over there, and then we moved to Canada. We had both our kids, Austin and Taylor. We really wanted to move out to the West Coast. When you first come into Bellingham, what you notice is just the scenery, the mountains, the ocean, the hills. It's, it's a beautiful place. Kids at school, they looked at me differently because I, I was different. Growing up, having traditional homemade Chinese dishes and stuff like that from my grandparents and mom, I was embarrassed when I was younger. But as I matured, that's when I really started to embrace my heritage, embrace you know where I came from. Today, I embrace it more than ever. But you fall into a trap living here. You don't grow up in Bellingham and be a real athlete. And I had to take initiative and get myself out there to be seen by college coaches because there was no college scouts coming to my high school or anything like that. Most of your scouts don't even know two A schools exist. So in order for him to get looked at, he spent all of his summers in football camps. We trained together since I was like a sophomore in high school. We just go down to the local field here, we just run through those exact same drills. Taylor was always working harder. When I got there, I felt like I got overlooked because I didn't look like the typical football player to college coaches. The first thing they did was put him in the backfield with the guys who they didn't think could play very well. When he was going to these camps and he was being disrespected or looked over, that was just gonna be his career right there. Like all that work, everything we've ever wanted just gets thrown to the side just because of how he looks. After a camp that I killed and I didn't get any attention, it pisses me off. keep pushing myself, even though I, I didn't see someone in the next level at pro. You got two choices. You could either let that get you down, or you could use it for positive fuel. Tell you, he's stubborn like his mother. Uh, I'm sorry, determined. Determined like his mother. But I always say, no, that's not a stubbornness, right? It's actually what we're determined. <laughs> Taylor and I used to stay up until one or two in the morning watching literally every single play of one of his high school films, play it back like four times, and I'd be like, this is the angle you need to be taking, like, you're loafing here. I developed the work ethic, and I am where I am today because of that. It's an amazing feeling, being able to sit there and watch, and other people probably looking at you and going, man, that kid's good. I can't even explain, you know, how much, just like I'm so, so proud all of a sudden puts us in a position to completely change the persona of what Asian Americans can accomplish in sports. There's nothing wrong to have a dream and always go after your dreams. My mission is to inspire the Asian American kids who don't have someone to look up to. I want to be that role model that they can be inspired by.